Brenda, by now you've heard that they have found the remains of Brian Laudry. And by remains, they are saying bones. So this should be the end of this journey, right? The end of the Gabby and Brian journey. And yet it feels kind of like it's just the beginning. The whole internet is blowing up. Every kind of wild speculation, conspiracy, you name it, surrounding the events of finding Brian. So let's jump into it and then please give me some feedback. Let me know what you think. So if you watched my video um, regarding the protesters outside of the Laudry's house, you know, I was not on board with it. I just thought that it was ridiculous that people were harassing this really elderly couple, you know, being that they were the parents, they weren't the suspect. So, you know, I don't know if you saw that video, but I was kind of like ranting. Well, if all the events of Finding Brian happened just as it's being reported, then I stand by my rant even more. Because if everything genuinely 100% went down the way that it's being reported, then they told the truth from the beginning. Right from jump, they said he's in the reserve, like that's where he went, and they led the police to the right place. If it's true that it was an area that was submerged underwater until recently, um, and just now were the remains and his belongings um, visible, then that's, that's really a shame. If they were telling the truth and people were harassing them this whole time, and now their son has passed away and they're still not even grieving peacefully because there's still people out there protesting and saying things like, um, well, it's not the same as, you know, it was for Gabby's parents. Look, the circumstances are not the same. To the parents, it's the same. I'm sorry. If you are a parent, whether your child was as holy as Buddha or as, you know, evil as Charles Manson, that is your child and you are probably grieving just as deeply. So, ugh, leave them alone. Okay, so enough with that. That's if everything has gone down just as it's being reported. But how many of you believe that it went down that way? Okay, so let me start by saying that I'm from Florida. I live in Florida, which is why I'm always in a tank top, like even though it's the end of October. I will tell you that I lived in Sarasota County for 16 years until two years ago when I moved more um, central Florida. And I will tell you that I have been to that, you know, that area, that reserve a million times. And I hear a lot of people online saying, well, like it wouldn't have been, you know, that submerged. Yes, it would. Would, 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 would. Yes, it would be. Get it together. So yes, it would be. We have rainy season and it goes on for like three months and it literally downpours every single day for a short period of time and we get a tremendous amount of rain. And so those parks out there, um, Mayaka State Park and Crane Park and all of the other ones out there, oftentimes they're actually closed for quite a while because it floods so bad. So yes, it definitely would be submerged. So that's, that's factual. And then I hear a lot of people saying things like, well, his body wouldn't be just bones yet because he's only been gone, what, five weeks? Again, knowing that area, personally knowing that area, being from here, being very familiar with that exact location, yes, that is extremely possible. The amount of wildlife out there, I, I would tell you that if you were to just throw a dead body down there, yeah, sounds so awful. Yes, it would be, it would be devoured instantly. Okay, it is um, overrun out there with gators, wild hog, wild hog will like probably eat you if you just trip. So if you trip, like get up and run. Okay, especially at night. I've gone camping out there. Um, and I mean, I stay in the actual campgrounds. I don't go, you know, out off trail, but 
So there was this point where we did go out there once um, to Mayaka and we were out there like at 1.30 in the morning, um, a little bit off trail because please, please don't laugh or think that, no, I mean, you can laugh, but don't think that I'm a complete lunatic. I probably am. But we decided we were going to find Bigfoot because there was like this episode of finding Bigfoot and they were out in Mayaka. And so we decided, you know, we were going to go and find Bigfoot. I kid you not. And, um, and it was all girls because the only guy that was camping with us decided to go to sleep. And so us girls just went off and we were like calling for Bigfoot and whatever. In those woods in in that area you hear the hog and you will see them you know coming right down the road and they're not you know they're not friendly so i can't even imagine if you were out there for weeks overnight they're gonna they're gonna come they're gonna get you there's gonna be nothing left of you so for anybody saying that there's no way that he would be skeletal at this juncture at this amount of time only five weeks in you're not really thinking about the location that he was in. It is absolutely possible, okay? Um, even animals that wouldn't necessarily bother humans, like gators, you know, contrary to belief, I, I don't, they don't usually chase you down, you know, unless you um, make them feel like afraid for some reason. But they are opportunists, okay? So if there was a body there, yes, they're they're gonna chomp on it. I'm sorry, I'm like frantically rubbing my hands because I was outside weeding and um, dirty. So with all of that said, those things are all possible, but let's really think about how this went down. So, what they're saying is that for five weeks, the local authorities, the FBI, everybody, like, dog the bounty hunter, why can I not speak today? Dog the bounty hunter, civilians, and anybody and everybody was out there searching, except for some points of time when the reserve was closed down. And they found nothing. They didn't find a body. They didn't find, you know, notebooks and backpacks and anything else that has now been located. And all this time, we should believe that all these people searched, found zip, zero, not a nothing. And Brian Laudry's parents called up the FBI a couple of nights ago and said, hey, the reserve is going to be open tomorrow because it was closed again for a little period of time. And we're actually going to go and we're going to go look for Brian and we're going to search some areas that we personally know that he frequented, you know, some trails that were, you know, his favorites or whatever. And they come out the next day. Now, allegedly, after they made this phone call, the authorities decided that they would go ahead and meet them out there. So the reserve gets open first day, first day, it's reopened. The lottery show up, law enforcement meets them there. And within 30 minutes, 30 minutes, after five weeks, 30 minutes, the dad walking down the trail and he's like oh yeah no brian used to kind of come down this area let me go check it out and off he walks off to the side into some brush and he comes out holding the wet bag full of belongings of brian laudry and you know really close by now all of a sudden the police find his um i guess backpack and remains now there's a notebook and I cannot wait until, and gosh, I really hope that it's released. It better be released. I want to know what this notebook said. If it's even his, because this is like so weird. And they, the parents said that this was his backpack. This was his notebook. They, um, you know, they definitely said this was some clothing belonged to him. And then they did, um, a forensic dental analysis and within like not even 24 hours said that the remains were his. Pause so we can all take that in for a second. 
for five weeks, every person, searchers, volunteers, law enforcement, you name it, searched this reserve for this man. Cadaver dogs, like everybody. And you're telling me that his parents went out there and within 30 minutes cracked the case. Now, if you watch the footage of his parents going through the reserve down the trail, so they're walking down the trail, they're like looking around, dad just like all of a sudden gets an inkling to go off into this, you know, really brush area. It's not even like a trail, it's like a like a brush area. Again, being familiar with this area, if you have any common sense whatsoever, you would not go off trail because like I said, we're talking gators, we're talking water moccasins and them suckers will chase you. If you are not familiar with a water moccasin, it is a snake that is like satanic. Like it will actually see you and it, it will chase you and come after you and they can kill you. So water moccasins, gators, hog, like whatever else is out there. This man, just like it was nothing, walked off into the brush. Now, I and I did say to myself, like, okay, don't get like all weird and and you know conspiracy because like he is looking for his son so if he knows that this is the area that his son frequents i guess if i was looking for my child under these circumstances even if i saw like a den of gators like chomping their lips like waiting for a meal i would probably walk into them to find my child so i tried to tell myself that but like on the other hand i just kept watching this footage and it was so nonchalant like i feel like he wasn't even like looking around like to, to be cautious, it was like he just was like knew where he was going. And mom just is kind of like lollygagging down the walkway while he runs over there, oh, almost like she didn't want to get too far away because, sorry, my cat, because did she know he was going to come out with the wet bag? Like, I don't know. I don't know. Like, but it's strange so either either it went down just like they said and it's just the strangest case because sometimes truth is stranger than fiction or the parents knew all along where he was but see that doesn't even really make sense either like if you knew exactly where he was why wouldn't you have gone to check on him before this like did you did you know he was dead? Did you not know? And of course they haven't released like a cause of death. So did he kill himself? Did he, did he succumb to the elements? Did he starve? Can you starve in that amount of time? Like you're in the wilderness. That's really like something to eat, right? I don't know. Bushes, leaves. I don't know. Um, did an animal just attack him? I don't know. I don't know. I, I guess we just have to wait for cause of death. But as far as the parents, like, did you know? Did you know he was in that area? I mean, you said you knew that he was in that area. That's why you want to go check that area. Or at least you knew that that was his favorite spot. But did you know exactly in that, like, little brush area? Because it's very, like, out there. I, there's, it's acres upon acres upon acres. And it's, it's, unless you're, like, right on the trail, it's not easy to, like, walk through what are the odds that you would just be able to pinpoint it right there you know what i mean like that's his favorite spot let me go look it's weird guys it's weird on the other hand on the other hand there's people saying like were the police in cahoots with them but why but why even if the police felt like look we've got so much bashing over this case like first we lost them then we couldn't find them and then there was like you know all this spotlight on domestic violence because people thought that the first two cops that ever encountered them during that police stop like should have intervened should have done more you know like the cat i'm sorry the cat is like gonna jump in front of the screen again like do the police just feel like we just want this over with so like we don't even care like how it comes about that he's found like we just want case closed 
I find that a little hard to believe. Like even, if, even, even if I bought conspiracy minded, like that one's a bit much for me to believe. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And then like people are getting really nuts on the internet, right? And the, okay, not nuts. Let me not say nuts because I've been known to believe in a few conspiracies. So I don't even want to say nuts. But I mean, I've even, I've even read like they're not even real. They're like crisis actors. Seriously, I'm not kidding. Um, it's to take the attention off of, and I've heard everything from like the job the president is doing to the recounting of certain ballots, like all kinds of things. And some people got really reinforced in this belief when um, that video turned up of Gabby when she was like 14 being part of uh, like a memorial video song for Sandy Hook. So that really, uh, people had already started to go in that direction. Some conspiracy theorists with that, but now with the way his body was found, like if that wasn't the icing on the cake for any conspiracy theorist, I don't know what is. So I don't know, I don't know. It's, it's, it's crazy, it's bizarre, and I certainly think that it's just the beginning. I think that it is just the beginning. There is no way that you're going to just put that out there, you know, that police have searched and searched and searched and FBI and here comes his two elderly parents and within 30 minutes, like they have just like solved the entire thing, the entire case. There's no way that that's going to happen and people are going to be like, oh yeah, okay, like case closed. No, like it is just beginning. This is insane. You, I saw a poll online yesterday um, where something some incredible number, like 60% of people were saying they didn't even believe that it was his remains. So, and I guess being that it's just skeletal, you know, that, that was a little odd to people along with the way that it went down, but really, yes, it could be skeletal. And do I believe that they would lie about doing the, the dental analysis? No, I think it's Brian, but what do you think? Do you think it's Brian? Do you think that it was a setup? Do you think that his parents planted it there? That's another thing that I've heard because there was, um, you know, these people haven't left the house at all because they were being harassed so badly. But like a couple of days before they went shopping for the first time and there was like a picture of them carrying this box that says like meal kit or something and they were shipping it somewhere. So now there's this whole thing like were they shipping the you know, maybe the backpack or all of that or the wet bag full of stuff. Um, and had somebody else go plant it there? I don't know. Like, for why? Like, why would they do that? I don't understand. Like, did they just, I don't know. Is the thought process that the parents just finally wanted to be done with this? I don't know. I don't know. You've got to tell me what you think. I'll be so mad if you do not you know, put it in the comments, message me, do something and tell me what your thoughts are on this. Is this the end? Is this the end of the road? Is the case closed? Or is this the beginning, at least on social media? Is this just the beginning of a way more bizarre case? Um, the case of finding Brian Laudry. Um, who, who really found him? Who put him there? How did he die? who's in cahoots or did it really just happen the way that they said it happened? And, you know, truth is stranger than fiction. And that's just what it is. And that's just what happened. I don't know. Let me know what your thoughts are. Um, again, though, if this is all on the up and up and, and he really was just found because the water receded and the parents happened to go out there and they knew where to look, you know, where he loved to be and they found him, then, oh my gosh, like, then that means they told the truth from the beginning and people harassed them unmercifully and they were telling the truth because that's where they sent the police five weeks ago. So, like, that would be really super sad. I mean, really, the abuse that they've endured if they were telling the truth. So, that's it. Bye. Tell me what you think. Do you think it's bizarre? Talk to you soon. Bye.